Yeah, what's really good? University of Miami Hurricane football fans who are lost on 1-2-1-9-8-K Hurricanes. I'm back in the building. Um, I just did this topic the other morning on my show. Not the other morning, the other day on my show. We actually talked about, you know, race relations and things like that when it comes to sports, when it comes to football, and how it's harder. In my opinion, for black coaches to succeed in football and in any other sport, you know what I'm saying? It's just my opinion. Now let's take this this John Gruden situation for example. Let's take this John Gruden situation for example. We have people actually, actually. Still wanting Miami to hire John Gruden after all of the racial slurs that he made towards black people. After all of the racial slurs he made towards black people. And the thing that got him fired wasn't really even the racial slurs towards black people. But it was the um, the, the gay slurs that he made towards Commissioner Roger Goodell and the LGBT had to get into it. Just think about it. So that, 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 that's, that's crazy to me. So you can make racial slurs towards black people and it's okay. But say anything about anybody that uh, about the gay community, you're automatically terminated or fired. That's how much that's how much black people are respected in this country and across the world, really. And the difference between even blacks and the LGBT. I'm just being honest. Um, but why would you want a man who hates someone? to coach your football program to get a couple of wins. Even if it's to bring a national championship. I'm going to tell you like this here, straight up honest with you. If it was to guarantee Miami five national championships in a row, and I know he hates black people. I know he hates. Well, I'm going to say hate. I'm going to say hate. Because I, I truly don't know if he hates black people. But I, I know he has racist issues towards black people. If I know he doesn't like black people, why would I want him coaching or teaching my children? So I would not sell my soul. I would not sell my soul just to have John Gruden come to the University of Miami and win national championships. Not happening. Would never happen. Maybe I'm built different. But then you had on one of the Facebook pages yesterday a lot of white Hurricane fans actually defending him. Saying, oh, it's not that bad. Black people are some of you black people are taking it too far. Huh. Let that or let that had been him making racial slurs towards the Cuban people in the university. I mean, in, in the city of Miami, in the county of Dayton. It would be uproar if you even thought about making him the head coach. That football program, I'm guessing is at least 85% black. I'm guessing. I, may, I might be wrong, but I'm guessing that football program is a, is, a, is around 85% black. And you want a guy who comes in and coaches this program, to coach this program who's made racial remarks 
not just one time towards black people, but they have an, a, a whole group of emails and text messages of him talking bad and making racial slurs about black Americans. And we sell our soul for that. I would never. I could actually tell you this right here. If the University of Miami were to hire a guy like John Gruden or hire John Gruden, I would no longer be a fan of the University of Miami. I would no longer root for the University of Miami. There's no way I would. Like I said, I refuse to sell my soul for a man that I know dislikes me just because of the color of my skin or the size of my lips. And I am pretty sure that he would not recruit the inner city at all. I'm pretty sure you would have a football program that's probably 10% black Americans. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe some black, maybe there are a lot of black people who will go there. But me personally, I would no longer root for Miami. I'm out.